there friends welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world may i encourage you to please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much i appreciate your support the president general of ohaneze indigo Wodo, has finally reacted to the ipop attack in enugu state speaking in enugu Wado blamed IPOP leadership for not obeying their arrangements and their continuous disobedience to the Nigerian laws. In his words, I have had meetings with IPOP leadership and want them to stop the ag this agitation and join the call for Igbo presidency, but they keep being stubborn. IPOP should stop holding meetings. I have said it time without number that Nigeria is our country and we are not going anywhere. Nam Dekano and his group must stop dividing the attention of Igbos and join us in the quest for Igbo presidency. The IPOP members should also Stop disobeying the Nigerian laws by holding meetings since they are under proscription. We must support the call for Igbo presidency, he stated. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? If what uh, Nayamodo said is true, or if it is true that the Ohanese president, Chief Nayamodo, said this, that the IPOP should stop holding meetings, then I think uh, the Igbos are not together, as it were. And that shouldn't be. This is not how things should be. The Igbos ought to come together and agree. A section of the Igbos want Biafra, another section are calling for uh, Igbo presidency. Which of these two is achievable or can be easily achieved? Which exactly, which of the two is the priority for the Igbos? I think the Igbos need to come together and have an agreement. It has been reported severally that uh, IPOP and uh, Ohanese have held meetings and they have agreed to work together. So I am beginning to find it, um, I'm beginning to find it difficult to understand why Chief Nayamodo is saying that IPOP should stop holding meetings since they are under prescription. If they're under prescription, does it actually mean that they shouldn't hold meetings? And the meetings they are holding, does it in any way uh, create or constitute nuisance or constitute any form of harm or constitute any form of um, uh, ill to the government of Nigeria as it were? That is another question that we really need to look into and answer. Does it also give the security agencies the right to uh, shoot at unarmed civilians who are just holding meetings as it were? That is another issue that needs to be discussed. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong, but I think there is something that the southeastern uh, region needs to do, and which is coming together to work as, coming together to work as a group because at the moment they are separated they are not as they are not one and it begins to uh, give rise to conflict of interest as it is let's take it one after the other now let's look at uh, the issue of Igbo presidency the issue of the Igbo presidency uh, is on the top agenda of the Ohanese now is that realizable is it achievable looking at the strength of the policy in Nigeria. The Northerners want the presidency. The Southwest want the presidency. The South South, if they are given, they would accept. Now the Southeast are clamoring, it is their turn. But as it is, there is no constitutional law that says that it is the turn of the South South, or sorry, the Southeast for presidency. So there is no stipulated agreement, written or unwritten somewhere. So it's going to be difficult for the Southeast to get presidency as a lot of factors are against the Southeast. It has been said that it is only the political party that can zone the presidency to a particular region, as it were. 
And from the look of things, it doesn't look as if the APC are ready to zone the presidency to the southeast. Because if they do, they also keep, I think they are feeling that, how are they going to win? Because every party wants to win the election. I start to be corrected. Every party wants to win its election. So how are we sure? Can the Southeast guarantee that if the presidency is zoned to the Southeast and the contest or the candidate that the Southeast will produce contest against a Northern candidate? Is it true? Can it be proven that the Southeast uh, candidate will defeat the Northern candidate? Hypothetically, I don't think so. Also, let's look at the issue of the population of the country. Majority of the guys are from the north. The population, the northern guys have the more population, they have more states than the southwest, the south south, and the southeast, or even combined together. So we can see that in politics, you don't just look at um, um, sentiment and you don't just look at the, you look at the strength of the numbers. The, the votes that Sokoto State alone churns out to a very large extent is more than the votes that Imo State alone, you know, triples, if not, the votes that will, Imo State will produce. Is it Kaduna State we are talking about? Is it Gombe that we are talking about? These are some of the issues that need to be looked into. So, even if PDP, as it were, zones their presidency candidate to the south, as it were. It could be from the west, it could be from the east, it could be from the south-south. Who do you think will have upper hand? Who do you think will get the nod? That is another massive question that needs to be answered. So guys, you see, there are a lot of issues that, there are a lot of issues needs to be considered when it comes to this particular issue. So if a now what we say that IPOP should, you know, uh, forget about Biafra, stop holding meetings and concentrate on the Igbo presidency. What is the guarantee that the Southeast will get the Igbo presidency come 2023? It is not impossible, but to a very large extent, it looks as if it is difficult. So I think the Igbos need to come together and have reach an agreement on what exactly do they want so that together they can fight and work towards achieving this particular uh, dream of the Southeast so that peace can be achieved in the land. I, I stand to be corrected, guys, but I think um, Ohaneze and the Igbo and all other sociocultural group or sociopolitical group as it were needs to come together, have an, a meeting, reach out to themselves, ha have an agreement, discuss amongst themselves what they want and how they intend to achieve this peace and move forward in this place. Another thing is Biafra. In as much as Nnamdi Kanu has kept on assuring a lot of people, especially the IPOP members, that Biafra is on its way, it is still taking time. With the event of the COVID-19 pandemic and so many other things, do you think or do you see um, I, uh, Biafra being achieved? There are a lot of issues to be considered, a lot of things to be considered, a lot of things to actually be uh, looked into. The international community, the, the, uh, the, the United Nations as it were, and so many other factors. The Nigerian factor also is there. In the constitution of Nigeria, there is no chance, there, there is no uh, room for any referendum as it were. So how do you think this will be achieved or should be achieved? It remains to be seen. I'm not saying it's impossible, but what I'm trying to say is that it really might be difficult as well. So neither Biafra nor Igbo presidency is really, really... Um, feasible as it were even within this short period of time so but if both parties if all involved or all stakeholders can come together reach an agreement on what they want to achieve and how they want to achieve it they can pull strengths together synergize and achieve this in uh in a good time i start to be corrected if i am wrong anyway guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story can you drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are? Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification 
whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I will see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.